Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. I am glad that you can join me. It looks like some of you are popping on here. Mom, you're back from your COVID test. Stephanie, um, Aunt Mary, Julie, Karen. Um, thank you so much. My iPad is over here where I can see who's jumping on and my camera for my computer is over here. So I'm kind of going between the two. So if I'm looking over to the left a little bit, um, it might be your right, um, but it's just because I am checking the comments. So um, good morning. My mom isn't sick, just so everyone knows she's having knee surgery uh, this week. So she's all vaccinated, but they still require you to have a COVID test before they will um, let you have surgery. So good morning, Kathy Miller, Sandy. Um, good morning, ladies. Thanks for joining me um, and Stephanie. Um, I wanted to start with just a couple of updates, some sad news, um, but again, with every sad news, there's usually some good news. So um, the Butterfly Bijou um, designer series paper is sold out. So if that is something that you had wanted or was on your wish list, just so you know, it is gone. Um, I do, um, the special that I had this month was that if you purchased the bundle, which was the stamp set and the dies, that I would give you a free half a pack of that. I still can honor that for up to six more customers. So if that is something you want, um, you should email me before you would place the order online to make sure that I still have some left. And um, if so, I will mark you down and then just place your order online or I can place it for you. Just let me know. But I do have enough for six more. Um, the other thing is those of you who were huge fans of Rococo Rose, we received notice earlier in the week that supplies were low. They probably were only going to last a couple more days, but the cardstock is gone. So um, I just wanted to let you know that if um, you were holding out on the Rococo Rose. Um, hi D um, and Robin is on here and um, oh Kathy, my cousin Kathy is watching with my Aunt Mary. So thank you all for joining in today. Um, I wanted to start with some happy mail. So this was I received in my mailbox this week. Isn't that a beauty? Um, yes, it is a different size card than our normal A2 um, card. It is um, a card pack. You can get these note cards and they come with, and I'm going to try to cover, there we go. They come with these matching envelopes, which are pretty cool. And I received this from my upline, Kelly, and she was congratulate congratulating me on being top 10 in sales in February on her team. So thank you, Kelly, if you're watching. I really appreciate it. Hey, Lisa Nyland. Um, thank you all for um, joining in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do prizes from last week because we got a lot of stamping to do, ladies. We are going to make um, six cards today, and I'm going to show you six others that I made that go along with this one sheet wonder. I left six of them for us to make. I have a lot of the stuff cut, but we're going to have to do quite a bit of stamping today. So, um, our winner for commenting for last week and you will be winning the two cards that I made last week. So this Easter card, ooh, that light's really bad there. Um, this Easter card and this sending prayers card, um, that is going to Marsha Culvert. And Marsha, I do not have your address. So if you could private message me your address, you can either email it to me. My email will be when I turn my camera around or go to my phone. Um, it will be there. Um, or you can send it on this Facebook page in a private message. Then for sharing, this person is going to win a some of the Fine Art Floral um, ribbon, which is absolutely gorgeous. It has like a gold um, fleck in it. Um, and that is going to, for sharing, Julie Schlieve. So I have to get some stuff, some, some of your order to you, Julie, and I'll have this in there with a little note that this is your prize. Okay, and then we have for placing an order. Oh, looks at all the people that have hopped on since I looked, we're up to 17. Um, hello, Nancy and Margaret Brady. Hello, and Barb Knuth, I think that's how you pronounce that, and Karen Roofing. 
Good morning. So I just showed you a card that I received from my upline Kelly that used these note cards. See how they're all printed? And then the envelopes are already printed for you. Um, so you can just add some um, stamps and stuff to the top of that. And this is going to, for placing an order, Robin Schulke. So Robin, this will be coming your way. And I also have things that I have to get to you. So this will be in with that. All right. We also had a creative challenge last week. We took our layout that we had and um, you were to design a card and holy cow, you guys did such an awesome job. I was so impressed with the um, cards that were posted on my Facebook page. And Julie, I think you made a comment that, oh my gosh, these are all so different, but they're the same design. So yeah, you can take that layout and you can make something look completely different from um, what anyone else is has created. So um, people who participated, and I have your little sheets here to put in my drawing bin. I have Karen Roofing, and I'm going to do this one live. I have Robin, and I have Diane Van Groh, and I have Diane Hermson, and Doris Fryman participated. Thank you all for sharing. Uh, Katie Schmidt participated, Julie Schlevey, Sandy Calloway, and Sharon Duff. Those were all the ones that I saw. So I'm going to go ahead and I have, look at my little Christmas bucket. I think I got flowers or something in here once and it was such a cute bucket that I had to, to keep it. So I'm going ahead and mixing all of those names up. And our winner of the Butterfly Bijou paper is... Doris Fryman. So Doris, I will be getting this out in the mail to you this week and I do have your address. Thank you again for participating. That was fun because you not only got to see the cards that I created, but you got to see what everybody else created, which is always fun. So today I announced that I'm going to be doing a one sheet wonder. Now I don't know about you, but it gets to the point where we're at the end of a catalog, we're at the end of this January to June catalog, and um, there's a new catalog coming out, and I can't wait to order some of the new stuff, but I look at all the designer series paper that I have, and I think to myself, how could I order any more because I haven't used up all the DSP that I have? I'm a little bit of a hoarder when it comes to stuff like that. And my mom can attest to that. She doesn't even like to come in my stamp room. And especially right now, it's a disaster. It's getting clean today. Um, but anyway, I, I thought I would feature something um, where you can take a sheet of designer series paper and I'm going to show you how you can cut it so that you can make 12 cards. So it's an easy way to do it. These cards aren't extravagant, but they're pretty. And um, they will be a variety of different, um, there will be a variety of different greetings on them. So you can have, by the time we're done, I will have 12 cards that'll be, will be able to go out into the mail, which when I need something, it's right there and it's ready to go. So I hope that you enjoy this today. Um, I hope that it inspires you to get some of that designer series paper out. It's not too pretty to cut. Okay, sometimes we say, but it's oh so pretty. I can't cut that. Yes, you can. And if you cut it and you make a card with it, then you can purchase more of it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and switch cameras here. And we are going to start um, with our one sheet wonder. So the designer series paper that I decided to use today comes from our Fine Art Floral series. Sweet. Look at this paper. It's like it's got a texturized paint to it. Isn't it just gorgeous? Look, see, you can almost see the brush strokes from the person that painted it. Okay, so the two sheets of this that I am going to be working with mainly, so this is the one that I did my sample. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I mean by a one sheet wonder. So this sheet right here, and that's the back of it, is what I used for all 12 of these cards. So I have a couple of cards that use more of it. Okay, I'm gonna get this out of here because I think that's a little bit of a distraction. So I've got some of them. 
Um, and so this uses each side. It uses, uh, look at, it fills up my whole card. Then I have a couple of them that use just a little bit of it. Okay. I have some that use have just a little bit different size. I have some that are the same size but look a little bit different. Okay, so I've had thank you, I've had special day, I've had best wishes, I've had thinking of you. Um, this one, some kind people are, kind people are my kind of people, could be a thank you. Here's a birthday. Sending happy thoughts your way and a thank you. So all 12 of those cards came from one sheet of that paper, plus I had to add some cardstock to it. So this right here is, um, oops, and I have got something on, on that one. Um, this right here is what we're gonna be doing today. Instead of using this exact same sheet, so you've got an idea of what we're gonna be working for, I decided instead for our cards today, to use this piece of the DSP. I love this piece of the DSP. Um, I love the colors in it. I love how bright it is. Um, I think it is so, so pretty. So I'm going to bring this in here so that if you want to take a screenshot of it, if you're watching this in the replay, um, you could take a screenshot if you wanted to right now. I will also be posting a picture of um, like a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and also be explaining where you would cut it. So when I say our first cut, so this is 12 by 12. So I'm going to pick one of the sides and it doesn't matter which way you decide to cut first. So you are going to cut, make a first cut at five and a quarter inches. And then on that same side, you're going to cut four inches and then two and a quarter. You will get a half an inch strip left on the end, which you can use for decorating inside if you wanted to. So I'm gonna set this aside while I do that cutting and show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to bring my paper trimmer in here and I am going to go to five and a quarter inches and I'm going to make my first cut along one of the sides at five and a quarter. Then I'm gonna slide this over to four inches and I'm going to make a cut there, make a strip that's four inches wide, and then my last one is two and a quarter. I have to get this up here, there we go, two and a quarter. Okay, so I'm lining that up and again I'm going to end up with this little half inch strip here that I could use for decorating on the inside of my cards if I want. Okay, then let's bring our directions back in here. With the five and one quarter inch strip, I'm gonna cut at four inches, four inches, two inches, and then there should be just two inches left. Okay, so here's my five and a quarter inch strip. I'm going to cut that at four inches and four inches again. And then this I'm just going to cut in half and each of them are going to be two inches. Okay, so right there I have enough for four cards. All right, then let's bring this in. Our four inch strip, we are going to cut all of them at three inches. So I'm gonna get four cards out of there, each of them being three inches, four by three. So I'm gonna go to three inches. And three inches. And this will just be six inches left. So I'm going to cut that in half, and each one is going to be three inches. So there I'm going to have four cards. And the back of that I can use as well. Then I have my two and a quarter inch strip. I'm going to cut three squares. So three of them are going to be two and a quarter by two and a quarter. And then what I will have left is five and a quarter. So I'm going to cut, slide this in here and do two and a quarter and two and a quarter and two and a quarter. 
Okay, and what I have left is five and a quarter. All right, one of these, I'm gonna look here to see which one I want to do. Um, I think I'm gonna do this, this one maybe. I don't, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna put one of these in here. I'm going to, just like we did last week with cutting in half, I'm gonna cut one of these in half and make two triangles. Keep that together. I'm gonna to use one card using that. Okay, so the next thing that I had to do was I had to decide, I'm gonna get my paper trimmer out of here. I had to decide what colors, card, card stock, I wanted to use with this. So there's some white in there. There's some petal pink. There is some poppy parade. There is some pretty, pretty peacock. There is some pool party. Um, mint macaron goes well with this. There is bumblebee. There are so many different colors that you can bring in to um, this with this paper. So I am going to start with making a card or two cards using these big pieces. So I'm gonna set the rest of this aside and I'm just going to work with these two pieces for right now. I already made one card with this right here, with one of these. I think it was this one right here. Okay, so I made this card already with this piece of designer series paper. What I did, and you can't see it at home, but I can definitely see it here, I took a wink of Stella brush and just went over some of the flowers. I stamped a congratulations on a piece of white and used one of the um, banner end punches for that and tied a little ribbon on there that was in pool party and this is a pool party base, okay? Simple, the DSP does all the work in this card and it came together very, very fast, okay? Here's the card that we're gonna make together. So we're going to make one <laughs> and we're going to look at what I made for the other one. So for this one, I decided to use Pretty Peacock for my base. Here's the piece of DSP that I cut and I decided, and I will give you all the measurements of these. I did not write all the measurements down because each of the cards is just a tad bit different. Um, but if you wanted to replicate this because you have the paper and you wanna make it exactly the same, I can go ahead and give you the measurements of that um, in a blog post. Um, but I'm gonna just put this in the center. So I am going to bring out some mint macaron. I think I'm gonna use mint macaron because that's sort of some mint macaron in there. I'm also going to bring out some pretty and pink ink. I am going to use this stamp that goes with this set. And I think I'm going to use a thinking of you in this one. I don't know if that's clean. I'm going to get a chamois out here just in case. I thought I cleaned these all last night. Oh, yeah. It was clean. All right. So my stamping that I'm going to do is on this white panel right here. And I think I'm going to do this image. And this is scary for me, you guys, because I don't have any of these <laughs> completely... Um, done. I am doing these all on the fly today. <laughs> I think I'm going to stamp this image on there. Ooh, that's pretty. And I am going to take some pretty peacock. And I'm going to take that thinking of you and stamp it down there. Now, there is this little flower piece that I can put over the top of some of these, and I think I'm gonna bring that in just to add a little of that pretty peacock to the inside of those flowers. Oh, I like that. Okay, now, I didn't plan any bling for these, so let's put this together and see what we need for bling. You can help me with what you think I should add for bling. So look at this right now while I'm putting it together. You tell me what you think we should add for some bling. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some glue. My thought was to put some Wink of Stella over those flowers. 
might soften and add a little spunk to it. All right, a little sparkle. Let me get my Wink of Stella brush here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, and I wish that you could see this on the camera because it really does add a lot to it when you start uh, brushing this on there. Oh yeah, definitely needed some Wink of Stella. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach this. Don't have any, don't see any comments of anyone adding, making any suggestions. Do you think we should do some pearls? Should we do some rhinestones? What do you think? Thinking of you is the theme here. You could take some of that ribbon that I tied on here and add a little bit here. Um, that might work too. Uh, I'm gonna pop this up on some dimensionals. Well, maybe we want some ribbon. Maybe we want some of that ribbon behind here. We want some to go like that. So there's a little bit of ribbon behind there. That's what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut some of this, make a really big bow and tape it before I, see what I mean? I'm. I'm doing this on the fly today, which is scary because sometimes it takes me a really, really long time to figure out what I'm gonna do when I make a card. Pearls sound good, Marjorie says. Yep, I'm, I'm thinking too. I think pearls will be a little bit softer than rhinestones. And glad you could join us, Marjorie. Aunt Mary, you think pearls too? That's what I'm thinking too. Okay, it's gonna be pearls, I think. Kelly's thinking pearls. Yes, ribbon and pearls. Okay, good deal. I'm gonna just tie this. I'm just trying to make my bow really big. So that I can just go ahead and tape that back here. Just have a little bit of it hanging out the sides. That will just lay flat like that and I can trim that up. We'll add some dimensionals to the back of it. And we're almost done with card one. Got five more to go, ladies. They'll go fast though, I promise. Look at how fast this one went together. We're not doing the insides of any of these. I will go back and add something to the insides of them. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay that down there. Oh yes, I am liking that. Going to trim that a little and trim that a little. All right, bring in some pearls here. You take your pick tool. What if we just add them sort of to the base of this flower? Each of those flowers. Oh, I think that looks pretty. All right. So our biggest piece that was four by five and a quarter, we have one card using one side and one card using the other side. Now, you don't have to flip them over. Good morning, Diane. Um, you don't have to flip them over. You could do all cards using this. Or you could use all cards using that. It's entirely up to you. It's your, it's your one sheet wonder. You can do what you want. I decided to use both sides so that to give you a little bit of a glimpse at how you can use them. Okay, so that is one. Then. We had taken one of those and we had in that five and a quarter, we had cut two of them to be two inches long. So I'm going to show you what I did with one of those. Okay, so this is what I did with one of them. So this has one of the flowers, happy birthday, has a little bit more of that ribbon on it. And it's a very simple card, but all I have to do is put a greeting on the inside, maybe stamp a flower on the inside, and that will be ready to go. Okay, so I did that with one of them. So let's set this aside. So for the card that we're going to make with on live today, I threw a little bit of ribbon in here, and I threw a tag in here. Wasn't quite sure, but my thought was that I would stamp one of the bigger flowers. I would put this down here. I would stamp that bigger flower, tie a ribbon around it, and maybe add a greeting down here, okay? 
So I'm looking at this and I have some yellow. I have some um, Poppy Parade going on there. I think I'm going to go with the Bumblebee. And I think I'm going to bring in some So Saffron and some Bumblebee. And I'll maybe bring in the, um, oh, maybe I'll bring the Pretty Peacock in for um, the um, stem. So let's get this out of here right now. All right, so here's my stem and I'm gonna bring my Pretty Peacock. Oh, are you gonna miss Pretty Peacock? Like I'm gonna miss Pretty Peacock, anyone? I just love it. But there will be new colors, so we'll get to see some new colors. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that about right there. That will leave me some space to put a greeting down here. Um, I'm gonna leave that open, but I'm gonna set it aside so I don't stick my next color in there. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and grab some So Saffron, I think. And I'm gonna do the biggest one of these in So Saffron, the lightest color. Oh yeah, I'm liking that. And then we have the second part of that, which I'm going to do in Bumblebee. So I'm gonna pull, I swear I have dimensionals everywhere. I don't know if you can see, there's a little mini dimensional back. Anyone else find, whoops, that's not the one I wanted. I wanted this one. I find dimensional backs everywhere in my house. All right, so that's going to go there. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Now. Notice in these flowers, there's like a little bit of that um, pretty peacock in there. So I'm gonna bring that little flower that we had before where I stamped a little bit of the pretty peacock in the center of it. And I'm going to add just a tad bit of that to the center of this as well. I like how that is turning out. I'm looking at what I have here for greetings and I have a thank you. I am going to put that in my pretty peacock and stamp that just along the bottom here. Oh, you know what? I didn't want to do that. I have this greeting. You know what? I'm going to cover that. I'm going to cover that. See, I had a thought in mind last night and then I came here today. I'm like, oh, I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to put, I'm thinking of you on this little label. All right. And I'm gonna close my stamp pads up. And I know you're probably thinking, why doesn't she just keep them open? She's wasting so much time. Because if you know me, I will drop something in one of them. And then the card will be done. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add that to this. I was thinking maybe I would change that to Pretty Peacock, but I'm afraid that it would look too almost Christmassy with the red and the Pretty Peacock. I think I'm gonna keep it with the um, blue and bring in that pool party color from right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and layer this on some pool party. And again, I will, if you really want these dimensions because you wanna do the exact same card, I will put these dimensions on there after I'm finished. Um, but depending on what you're using, you don't even have to have this stamp set. You could do this with any, um, you could do this with any paper, with any stamps that you have. You really just have to have greetings. You could have some background stamps. You could do whatever you want. This I think I'm going to um, just put down with glue. And then I think I'm gonna raise that greeting up on a dimensional. I think, yeah, I think I want that. Whoops. I'm going to have it over this way a little bit more. I don't know why. And then I'm going to pop that up on a dimensional and put that right there. Let me get some of my mini dimensionals because this is tiny. I haven't been watching the comments, so I hope that I haven't missed anything. Yes, Doris, you like pretty peacock too. I... I am just in love, and I love the Seaside Spray, and that was on back order, but they, I did get my order filled. 
because like I mentioned, we are using Seaside Spray for my sister's wedding invitations. And there might be other things that she wants. And I did not want to run into, she's getting married in June. So we're working on invitations right now. But I didn't want to run into, what if she needs it for something else and we don't have it? <laughs> All right, we have this bumblebee ribbon that I think I'm going to tie. And I don't know if this gingham is going to be too much. If so, I have a plane. But I want to just at least see what that looks like on here. Yes, Kelly, I will send those dimensions. Um, I think that'll look okay once I trim this. And I can't take credit for designing this. If you look on Pinterest and you do a search for One Sheet Wonder um, and you look for 12 by 12, they have some for six by six too. So if you have some paper that's six by six, you could look online and you could find one for that um, as well. But if you do a search, this one I found, um, I follow Jessica Taylor. She is from the Madison area, I believe, because I met her at an event that I was at in Madison. Um, and she had these dimensions on there. I think she posted it in like 2016. In fact, she had like a One Sheet Wonder of the Month Club and she had different um, dimensions, ways that you could cut your designer series paper up um, every month and that was back in 2016 so um, that's where I got this one from there are a bunch of them out there if you do a search online you can find all different ones but um, I'm gonna again bring in my wink of Stella I don't know if I need that ribbon or not I'm still kind of debating yes with the ribbon no it's too much do something simpler um, I do have maybe what I need to do is, let me see if I can find any in here. What do you think instead of that, if we brought in some gold? Do you like that ribbon or should we bring in, let me see what this would look like. It's just a little bit daintier. That ribbon almost looks too big on there in my opinion. With everything else that we got going on. I think I might do that. See? Women's prerogative is to change your mind, right? <laughs> All right, I think we're going to go with this gold rather than, I'm going to make it just a tad bit longer. And now when I use my glue dot on these, um, you want to, um, I'm going to take it in my finger and I'm going to kind of roll it up in a little ball. And I'm going to put my glue dot where I want the ribbon to be. And I tore the paper there a little bit, so it's going to have to go right there. Um, I maybe would have put it up a little bit higher, but that's where it's going to go because that's where the torn paper is. And I'm going to put that knot right in the middle of that glue dot. Yep, I like that better. I don't know about you, but I like that better. Um, I just think it isn't as busy as... This. I'm going to set this aside. I might use that on another card. But there is our card number um, two that we're making. Okay, but we have this one as well. So we made, we have four done out of our 12. Look at that. Now, we, next we had where we cut our four inch one. We have, um, we have three of these that we had. So I'm gonna take two of them and do one design, and then I'm gonna take the other two and do a different design. So I started with this design for one of them. Okay, so all I did was take one of these, and it looks like it was this one, and I layered it on some pretty peacock, and then I layered it onto some pool party, uh, I'm sorry, I wrapped a ribbon around it, used that oval punch, and um, layered it on a pool party card base. So there is a thank you card. We are going to use one of them. I don't even know which one it is. It looks like it's this one. Um, we are going to use this one, and we're going to use the other side. So I had, instead of pool party, I have some mint macaron. Okay, so... I'm 
I'm going to have that and I have some pretty peacock again and there is this layer that I have so I'm going to go ahead and layer that on there. And again, I think I'm going to wrap a ribbon around that. And I really like how this Whisper White, that crinkly ribbon, looks on there. So I think, I'm. oh, you know what? Not. let's change our minds here. Let's go with this polka dotted tool. Oh, I love this, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of that off of here. I'm gonna wrap that around. and tie that in a bow over on the side here. I didn't even ask you guys if we needed any bling on that last one. <laughs> Marjorie, I love this color combination too. This was one of my favorite sheets in this um, DSP pack. So I used one last night to, and I know I should do this during the week and I shouldn't save it for Friday night, but honestly, my week was so crazy. <laughs> I was the only one in our tech department from Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday who was there physically in person because um, one of the guys that works in our department um, had a vacation in Mexico, so he was quarant he's quarantined for two weeks. And the other person in our department, her daughter was getting married in Florida, and so she had to take off for Florida. So it was me running around doing all the stuff that had to physically be done. I was so tired by the end of the week. And then I had other things that I had to do for stamping um, at night. So it was a lot of really late evenings, but okay, I think I like this tool on here. All right, my thought for this one, um, I did have some scraps here and I thought I would bring in our, this is called the postage stamp. Um, I think I'm gonna take some mint macaron one and I'm also going to do a Pretty Peacock, and I think I'm going to stamp, I had this greeting, now this stamp set was a special stamp set that we had, um, and it's not available anymore, it was if you were a hostess during celebration, you were able to earn this stamp set, but it had some cool greetings in it, so I went ahead Sending you smiles for every moment of your special day. What a beautiful greeting to say to somebody on their birthday, right? I think I'm going to just layer that like that, and then I think I'm going to put that on dimensionals. And maybe this bow is a little bit big for that greeting. I don't know. Like I said, I don't like to do this stuff on the fly. I like to have everything planned out. But sometimes it's nice to um, be able to see my thought process um, and so that when you're creating, you can realize that, you know what, it doesn't come easy to me either. Um, I have to play around and I put things on and then I change it. And um, I think I'm going to go with that though. I'm going to get some dimensionals here. Put those in the corners. And this card is almost done. And again, I'm putting it on top and bottom so that I don't have a dimensional that's on my ribbon so that it doesn't lay funny. So this isn't centered, it's off to the side because we have our little bow there. Actually, I do kind of like that. And I think I'm actually gonna put this up on dimensionals too. Um, I got a couple of them in here that I don't have to cut. And then I need some opinion. Do we need any bling on this or do we have enough? I think maybe with that bigger ribbon, we have enough. Or maybe, just have a thought, maybe we could take a single rhinestone. And I have all my rhinestones and stuff out here. Oh, you know what? I have these holiday rhinestones. Maybe we just take one of those and put it there. Nope, it's too big. It's too big. Um, and I think our pearl would be even too big there also, our smallest pearl. I think it's just gonna be plain like this. Well, that might work. So, 
that works. We have one little pearl on there just to add a little bit of bling. All right. So that was using two out of those four inch or three inch by four inch panels that we cut from our second strip that was four inches long and then we cut three by three by three. Okay, so that's those. Then we have two of those left. So I could just make a bunch of cards that were the same as that, but I thought, well, let's do a different layout of cards for the next one. And so for that one, I have a pack of them here somewhere. The square ones, my last one. Oh, here they are. Here is this last one. So I did this with one of them. So I just took this and flipped it upside down. I added a little white to the edge of it. I stamped that greeting that we started with tone on tone. And then I cut a circle and did that thinking of you um, inside of the circle and then added a few rhinestones to it to make that card. Okay, so again, very simple. I still have to do the inside. So now we're gonna take this piece and let's do something with this piece. So my thought with this one is if I layer this, this is on mint macaron. If I layer that on mint macaron and I add a piece up on top, it almost looks like there's a ribbon or something going through there because of that mint macaron that's in there. I think all I'm going to do for this is to stamp one of those big greetings. I love that stamp set that, um, I think it was Jackie Bullheis. It was her million dollar stamp set and it has this really like big greeting on it. And I just love that. And I think I'm going to go with, hmm, do I want mint macaron? I think because the card base is mint macaron, I think I'm going to opt for pretty peacock. We'll see how it looks. There's always two sides to every sheet of paper. So if we feel like we need, it should be in mint macaron, we can flip it over. Yes, Doris, it would be if you embossed that um, designer series paper, that background one, it would look absolutely beautiful because you can see it's like the 3D almost looking brush strokes. And then if you add 3D um, with that floral art, oh, it would be absolutely beautiful. Or the, um, yeah, I think the brush stroke one would be beautiful. Okay, so that or let's stamp it in the other color on the other side let me get my chamois in here chamois always reminds me of my dad my dad always had a chamois for cleaning his car when we were growing up and i thought they were the coolest thing in the world when you could dry your car with a chamois i just thought it was the coolest thing and so when stampin up came out with a chamois for cleaning our stamps i thought oh my gosh this is just like my dad's all right i didn't get all of that ink out of here and because I'm going in a lighter color, I just need to be careful. All right, there we go. I think I have it now. It's hard to tell. I have all these lights going on the, there we go. I do have it out now. All right, let's check and see what we think of, I think I'm still in the camera screen. Yeah, I am. Okay, let's try some mint macaron and see what we think of that. I don't think that's dark enough. What do you think? The mint macaron or the pretty peacock? What do you think? I'm going to put the bottom down and then I'll take your recommendations. I don't see anything popping up yet. I think we should go with the pretty peacock or here is the mint macaron. Should I put these flowers the right way so that they don't look like they're upside down? Pretty peacock, pretty peacock. All right, it's pretty peacock. That's what I thought too. So I'm gonna go with the pretty peacock. And again, I'm just doing my border the same all the way around. And it's going to look like there's like a ribbon or something through here. 
when it's really just the paper from down below that was part of my card base. Now we could um, add um, a ribbon and I'm just looking at this. That is kind of pretty. You know what? I was working on these last night and never even thought to pull this ribbon out. Um, but I think this is the ribbon that goes with our peony um, stamp set. And it's a gray granite, but it's a little bit of a, um, has a little bit of a shine to it. I don't know if you can see that shine in there, but it's really easy to tie bows. And I'm just kind of thinking that that might look kind of sharp there. You just add a bow in there. What do you think? Yes to the bow? No to the bow? Leave it simple. Um, give me your thoughts on that. And I'm going to get my Wink of Stella out here. And I am going to add a little bit of Wink of Stella to these flowers down here. So you can add it to your DSP. So you can make your DSP shine and sparkle so that when the person picks it up, they say, oh, is that glitter down there? No, it's not glitter, but there's definitely a shine to it. Um, it's just a little bit of bling. With the bow, with the bow, yes, bow. Okay, we are gonna add that bow. Thank you for your input, ladies. All right, we're going to add that bow. I don't think I want to center it, or do I want to center it? I think I, um, maybe I do want to center it. Let's see what it looks like there. I can always move it. Center it, offset it. Let me know. What do you think? Center it or offset it? I'm going to get a glue dot on the back of it. <laughs> Didn't stick before when I put it on there. Off to the side. Yes, center. Oh, gosh. Okay, side, side. Got two sides and a center. Off to the side. Okay, we're going to go off to the side. That's what's winning right now. Okay, so we're going to go off to the side here with it. There we go. Now, we could come in with a little bit of bling here. Um... I'm not knowing where my pick, take your pick tool is, right? Oh, here it is, right under my nose. I've got so many stamps here right now, ladies. You can't see them all, but there's so many stamps and stamp pads sitting around here. It's unbelievable. So we're going to just take some of this and maybe just add a little bit of bling to it. And we have that card done. So we took our three by four. And even though they're the exact same size piece of paper, we have where we did it this way, and we have where we did it that way. And that's the exact same size piece of DSP. All right, so that was our middle. We have our squares left. So we cut those four squares, remember. So these are my ones that I'm gonna do with the squares. And for this one, I did two of them already. Okay, so here I stamped on the DSP and I used that stamp that we used in the very first card. I used that as a background stamp. I have a little bit of gingham ribbon there um, and uh, added a few pearls. So that's one of the squares. Here I took that square that I cut in half and I made it my corners. This is another different ribbon that has some pretty peacock in it. This is two-sided, so you kind of have to finagle it a little bit because the back didn't match all that well because it was more like a um, pear pizzazz. Um, but that's in there. And here I used our daisy punch with one of our um, opal rounds in the corner. And again, it's just that um, same greeting. So those are our um, squares. We've got one square left and for this one, I'm going to use the flowered side and 
don't even remember what I was thinking with this one. Oh, I know what I was thinking. I was going to go horizontally, right? And my thought was to layer this bumblebee on the designer series paper and then to put a greeting on that and raise that up. So have this little square just be a little bit of designer in there. And I think we'll also run some ribbon around the bottom of that as well. Um, I'm not sure what ribbon we're going to use here. Um, we could use white. We could use some bumblebee ribbon. We could use um, a little bit of this left. We could use this gingham bumblebee ribbon. We have bumblebee ribbon like this. I have the white crinkly ribbon that we could put on there. I think I'm liking the gingham ladies. I don't know. I think if there's a bow there and we've got the yellow bumblebee in the background of this one here and then I layer that on there, I think I'm liking the bumblebee ribbon. So I think I'm going to make that decision here. If we get it on there and it doesn't look good, we can always change it. <laughs> and add something else. So I'm going to start by tying my ribbon on here. And I'm just going to wrap this right around this card. Now here too, I'm going very, very basic. You could do like Doris had mentioned before with having that beautiful floral art, that brush stroke um, does, uh, embossing folder that goes with this suite. You could do a layer of that. Um, and have it embossed behind there. I'm doing very basic beginner. Um, and I guess the reason that I, I decided to do that when I was um, putting this together is that sometimes I feel like people watch me and they think, well, I can't do that. She's got all these supplies, but I don't have all those supplies. I'm hoping that when you leave today that you feel like, oh, all I really need is a, some matching um, cardstock to go with some designer series paper and I can make some, a whole bunch of cards with that one sheet of designer series paper and the things that I have. I don't know why I'm having such a difficult time here. Because I'm talking and trying to work at the same time. Um, but I keep pulling this the wrong way, I think. Uh, so you really don't have to have all of the supplies. You know, like I can look up here and I can say, well, let's pull this ribbon. What do you think of this ribbon? And you can't purchase all of those ribbons. Um, but you can look at what you have and say, how can I make it work with the things that I have in my supplies? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tie that and then trim this up. And if you have the things that you can add, you can add an embossing folder, you have that, go for it. Um, but this way you don't have to purchase absolutely everything and you can still make beautiful cards. Okay, so there we go. I am going to take a glue dot and just stick it behind that knot. I only have one more after this. What am I, how am I doing on time? Oh gosh, it's almost 10. But we've made a lot of cards. All right, let's go ahead and... And you've even given me some input on some of these cards today, and I appreciate it. We've made them together. We've designed them sort of together. I'm going to add this one down with a little bit of glue. I think that needs to go. This one's hard to tell which way it has to go. I think I'm going to have it go that way so that yellow sticks out of there. And then um, I haven't even added stamped a greeting on here. Let's use some red, Poppy Parade, not red, <laughs> Poppy Parade. And do I have a happy birthday stamp here? I do not. I have a thinking of you. Um, let me see what else I have in the stamp set. Um, I am going to 
get my happy birthday stamp. I will be right back. I had brought a whole bunch of my stuff to my kitchen because sometimes I want to run the blocks through my dishwasher and it was one of those days where I wanted to do that when I run my dishwasher. <laughs> so I happen to have the stamp still on it. So I'm going to do the happy birthday here and that poppy parade. Thanks for stay, staying tuned. <laughs> and I might even take... Um, I even take this little flower, which I have to get my chamois out and clean it, that little inside that we did. I might do that with just a little bit of bumblebee down in the corner. Um, feel like it needs more than that. Let's do a so saffron. See, I didn't have these planned out, you guys. I didn't even bring all the stamps in here that I needed. I think I'm gonna just go with that. I think if I do the bigger one, it's going to get too big. And I don't have my smaller one over here. Maybe what I'll do is I'll add this twice and I'll add a little bit of so saffron, which means that's a lighter color. So I'm going to have to clean up here. Let's just, oh, that works. And we'll add like a little, um, gem or something to it. I probably should have moved this over a little bit. Um, I'm going to raise it up on some dimensionals. Actually, I might trim it a little. I might trim it and then get a piece of bumblebee in behind it as well. So let me just trim a little bit off of here. Sorry, ladies, for bearing. Thanks for bearing with me. I know that this is, like I said, it's on the fly today. <laughs> We're completely on the fly today. So if I make that a little smaller and I get a piece of bumblebee, I can add that to the back of this. So let's see what we do here. And I'm just cutting a little bit of bumblebee. If you're wondering, where did she go? She's not here anymore. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. Okay. There we go. I think that adds something to it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and attach this and put some dimensionals on the back and raise it up. My last card, ladies, stick with me if you can. Otherwise, you can come back and watch the last card. I do have a lot of that one done already um, because I knew it was going to be the last one and I didn't know how long it was we were going to be running. So. That one should go pretty fast for us. So again, these are from the three squares that we cut. So we did the one square I had done already. There we go. Happy birthday. And you could even, we could even pop a few, uh, of these right Two of them there. Okay, so there's just a few rhinestones on there. These are the holiday ones. You could do red or you could do the yellow. I opted for the yellow um, on this one just to have it stand out a little bit more. So there is our birthday card. That is card number 11. We just have one more to go. And boy, do I have a mess here because I've just kept <laughs> adding it. So after we had those squares, we had the one piece left that was two and a quarter by five and a quarter. So I am going to, for this one, attach the floral paper on this one. And I'm 
going to attach that on here. And then what I did was I took that stamp that we did our first card with and I used my um, markers, um, my stamp and write markers. And this is the Poppy Parade. I did a little pool party. Um, this is Bumblebee, Flirty Flamingo and Petal Pink and then the um, Pretty Peacock. So I just colored my stamp in with my markers so that I could change all of those colors. And I think here I'm going to come in with that thank you and put that right down in the corner. And again, you could do a label if you wanted to as well, like we did with that first one. I just think I'm just going to do thank you. And I'm going to layer this on with some glue. And then I think I'm going to do the other one with dimensionals. is a little bit similar to one of the cards that we did. That one was just two inches wide. This one's two and a quarter inches wide. So it's just a little bit wider than that first card that we did. I don't know where my bigger, oh, there they are. I have such a mess here right now. It's going to take me a little bit just to clean everything up as stamping on the fly here with all of you today. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to go ahead and take these dimensionals off and add that to my card and then I took a little bit of the um, this sheer ribbon which this is in the stamp set with the whale um, there's a whale punch and whale paper like underwater type paper and this is the ribbon that goes with that suite tie a bow here. I'm trying to hurry because we're at an hour already. I don't have anywhere to go, but I know that it's such a beautiful day that you probably want to get your day started. Lila's waiting for a W-A-L-K. We didn't get it in beforehand because I slept in a little bit. <laughs> All right. My bow's not cooperating because I'm trying to hurry. have it twisted is what I have. I was kind of thinking that could go in there. Maybe we don't need a bow. Maybe we just need um, a little bling. And these holiday rhinestones in. There's some pool party in there. We have a pool party base, so um, something over on this side. Do that. We'll do that instead of that ribbon. Um, I could always add it if I feel like it needs it later, but I think actually it just, I don't think it needs it. I think just those rhinestones look nice on there. Okay, let me clear up my space here. Our one sheet wonder, our cards are done. Okay. Um, so here is the one card that we just did. Here are our three cards that had used the square. Okay, we have our four cards that used the three by four inch. Okay, a couple of different layouts for those. We have two cards that use the two by five and a quarter, each going in a different direction. And then we have our two cards that used the four by five and a quarter. And again, used both sides of the paper going in a different direction. So you can have them as portrait or you can have them as landscape cards. Oh, thanks, Diane. Yeah, this paper can be kind of busy, but if you do something simple with it and you don't try to do a ton of stamping and just put like a greeting with it, then I think the paper just is your stamping for sort of for you. It looks like you watercolored that and um, and it, it it works. You just have to do simple stuff with it, I think, because it's so busy. Okay, I'm gonna switch cameras here again, and I'm back. Um, I hope that you are inspired by that. I hope that you feel like you can break out some of that DSP that you've been saving and cut it up and make some cards. 
I will type up the dimensions for each of the cards so that you know what I used for all of the different layers. Um, and so if you did want, you like, oh, I really like that card and how she did that. Um, I'll also have some pictures as well that I'll take of the cards so that you can see them all together. And then I will label the cards. So I'm gonna draw a picture of the 12 by 12 and I'll say, you know, cut it at five and a quarter and then cut at four and four and I'll call that card A. Um, and then I'll give the dimensions for the cards that I did with card A. And then the two and the two will be card B and I'll give the dimensions for that. And then you'll have the four by three. And then I'll do the C will be, um, the C will be this layout where we use that three by four on the bottom. And then the D will be this layout where we use the three by four and we layered it and put it in the center of the card. And then E will be our squares. And then our F will be that last card that we did like this. So um, I hope that this inspires you. I will get that stuff posted so that if you wanted to copy it, you can. I hope that you have a fabulous Saturday. I will be back next Saturday. Um, Shanna had sent me something on Pinterest which um, I haven't done one of these in a while, but there's uh, the Dutch gatefold that she wanted me, the double Dutch doors, um, that card. Um, I've done that several times um, before, but she had said, oh, it'd be fun to do this. So I plan on using that as one of my fun folds. And then I'm not quite sure what I'll do for the other one. If you have something that you want me to do and I have it, I'd be happy to look into it. But other than that, I don't really have a plan right now. <laughs> um, I hope that you have a fabulous Saturday, fabulous weekend, and I will be back next Saturday at nine o'clock. Have a great day. Thanks for joining in.